This tutorial is the reteach of how to do a Melcon. Melcon is a graphic organizer that helps students write better developed, clearer, and more organized paragraphs. In Global Connections, we have already introduced to you how to do Melcon, but if you still need help, watch this video and hopefully you will have a better understanding of what Melcon is and how to more effectively use it in Global Connections. Right now, we are looking at our um, Global Connections Blackboard site. On this site, there is a tab for Melcon, and I'm currently in the Melcon folder. On this um, site, we have a blank organizer that you can access at any time. We also have transitions that you could print out so that you can use for the various paragraphs. Additionally, I do have a um, Another example, um, one that we did not go over in class, that I will go over with you right now. So, looking at it from this um, software, um, this is our wiring prompt. How did Egypt's geography influence the civilization? When we do the um, M, M stands for topic sentence. This is going to be the first sentence in your paragraph. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your writing prompt and reword it to um, make it a statement. So first you need to find out if geography influences civilization positively or negatively. And based on the um, reading in your book, it was a negative impact. So I'm saying Egypt's geography negatively impact the civilization. That main topic now is... Um, you are going to collect evidence in order to prove that. So my first piece of evidence um, comes from the book. These smaller boxes are for your transitions. That would be from that one page transition thing. So I picked first and foremost. My evidence is going to be a quote. So first and foremost, when the Nile's flood waters were just a few feet lower than normal, the amount of fresh silt and water for the crops was greatly reduced. I found that in our textbook, so I'm going to use the author's name and the page number. So the author's name is Beck. It was on page 36, and I put a period at the end. After every example, you have to link it back to the topic and basically explain how this shows that geography negatively impacted. So, why was um, fresh silt and water a problem? Well, since there were less crops, many people starved. This definitely shows that that's a negative impact on the civilization. I need another um, evidence, but first I'm going to start with the link. Adding to that, Here's another quote. When floodwaters were a few feet higher than usual, the unwanted water destroyed houses, granaries, and the precious seed farmers needed for planting. Again, that came straight from the book. I am quoting Beck, page 36. Even if all of your citations come from the same author and even the same page number, you need to quote it after every single um quote. You just can't save it for the end of the paragraph because I don't know then what information was cited or not. I need to link it again. So here's my link. So how do I prove that having high flood waters were bad? This led to death and starvation but also forced many Egyptians out of their homes. So again I'm showing that high flood waters negatively impacted through this manner. We need a third piece of evidence. So here I go. My transition is the best and final reason is the vast and forbidding deserts on either side of the Nile acted as natural barriers between Egypt and other lands. Again came page 36 of from Beck. My link, therefore, is this prevented interaction between the Egyptians and other civilizations which limited cultural diffusion. Remember, cultural diffusion was one of those terms that we went over in Global Connections. Um, that wasn't necessarily straight from the textbook, but I was able to gather that based on things that we've talked about in class. After you have three pieces of evidence and three links, it's time for our conclusion. So my conclusion sentence should be a um, rephrasing of your main topic.
So, no one can argue that Egypt's geography caused environmental challenges for the Nile River civilization. The Melkon can then be written as a solid paragraph. Um, so you could take it out of the paragraph and then type it into a regular um, paragraph if you wanted to. So this has been your tutorial on um, how to use a Melcon for global connections. If you are still struggling, please make an appointment before or after school with Ms. Kizios or Mrs. Sprangle. Thank you.